Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For all the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God unto their end, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, our Bishop John, the Venerable Priesthood, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the President of the United States and all civil authorities and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and for every city and land and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by sea, by land and air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Sessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Bishafa'at walidat al-lila, ya muhallis khalis Peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin most Mary, with Theotokos all the saints, let us commend us. ourselves and each other and all our lives unto Christ our God. For thine is the majesty, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. O Son of God, who art wondrous in the saints, who sing to Thee, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever into the ages of ages, Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, who art immortal, who for our salvation will to be incarnate of the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man and was crucified, O Christ our God, and trampled down death by death. 
who art one of the Holy Trinity, glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us. And keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and the Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our lives unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. For thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. When o Christ our God, thou wast transfigured on the mountain, thou didst reveal thy glory to thy disciples in proportion as they Thine everlasting light also enlighten us sinners through the intercessions of the Theotokos. O thou bestower of light, glory to thee. Wisdom. Let us attend. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ. Save us, O Son of God, who art wondrous in the saints, who sing to thee, Hallelujah. <laughs> المسيح الإله في الجبل أظهرت مجدك للذي التلاميذ حسب ما أستطعوا فأشرك لنا نحن الخطايا نحن الخطايا نورك الأزلي بشفاعة بشفاعة والدة ليلى يا مانح النور مجد لك. Liberator of captives, defender of the poor, physician of the sick, and champion of kings. O trophy bearer, great martyr George, intercede with Christ God that our souls be saved. Thou wast transfigured on the mount, and thy disciples, in so far as they were able, beheld thy glory, O Christ our God, so that when they should see thee crucified, they would remember that thy suffering was voluntary, and could declare to all the world that thou art truly the effulgent splendor of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For holy art thou, O our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Uh, Glory to the 
look now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. In Let us attend. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, O righteous. Blessed are they whose transgressions are forgiven. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. Let us be attentive. Brethren, he who observes the day, observes it in honor of the Lord. He also who eats, eats in honor of the Lord, since he gives thanks unto God. While he who abstains, abstains in honor of the Lord, and give thanks unto God. None of us lives to himself, and none of us dies to himself. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we belong to the Lord. For to this end Christ died and lived again, that he might be Lord, both of the dead and of the living. Then a scream. يا إخوة الذي يهتم باليوم فللرب يهتم والذي لا يهتم باليوم فللرب لا يهتم والذي يأكل فللرب يأكل لأنه يشكر الله والذي لا يأكل فللرب لا يأكل ويشكر الله فإنه ما أحد منا يحيا لنفسه ولا أحد يموت لنفسه فإننا إن حيينا فللرب نحيا وإن متنا فللرب نموت فإن حيينا إذا أو متنا فللرب نحن لأنه لهذا مات المسيح وقام وعاد حيا ليسود على الأموات والأحياء. Peace be to those that read Wisdom, let us attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And with thy spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. At that time, Jesus called his disciples and said to them, I have compassion on the crowd because they have been with me now three days and have nothing to eat, and I am unwilling to send them away fasting, lest they faint on the way. And the disciples said to him, Why, Where are we to get bread enough in the wilderness to feed so great a crowd? And Jesus said to them, How many loaves have you? They said, Seven and a few small fish. And commanding the crowd to sit down on the ground, he took the seven loaves and the fish, and having given thanks, he broke them and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowd, and they all ate and were satisfied, 
and they took up seven baskets full of the broken pieces left over. Those who ate were 4,000 men, besides women and children. And sending away the crowds, Jesus got into the boat and went to the region of Magdala. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The miracle of the multiplication of the loaves bears a significance and a symbolism like others, like few others of Christ's miracles, which is perhaps why it is the only miracle from his ministry that we can find consistently in all four Gospels. It is, in fact, an image of the church. And that is why in the catacomb art of the early church, the Eucharist is symbolized not as one might expect by a picture of loaves and wine, but rather by loaves and fishes. The artwork transports us not back to the upper room in Jerusalem, but to the Galilean wilderness near Bethsaida. And this miracle came to avert a kind of crisis. Christ saw that his disciples were at their wit's end and in a state of exhaustion after all their work touring the countryside in pairs. And so he took them by boat across the lake to a deserted place to find peace and stillness that they so desperately needed. Others, however, saw where they intended to go and ran on ahead. Thus, when Christ and his disciples disembarked, they found not an oasis of solitude, but a throng of needy people waiting for them. Despite his disciples' need for solitude, Christ felt compassion on this great crowd because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And so he spent the day teaching them and healing them. The day was ending and the people needed to be fed, and some had come a great distance and might not have made it back home if they departed hungry. Should they go to the surrounding villages to buy food, the disciples wondered. But then Christ did an odd thing. He said that they did not need to go away, and he told the disciples to give them something to eat. One can only imagine the disciples looking at each other with questions in their hearts, saying, what can he possibly be talking about? They searched through the stash of goods, and said they only had 200 denarii to buy enough bread for each of them just to get a little. The Lord was undeterred at this and asked what food they did have. And the young man had brought his lunch consisting of five loaves and two fish. Now the word fish was upsarian not a big fish, but a little tidbit. And that would be plenty, because Christ ordered the disciples to have compassion and to recline with the people, and they did in companies of 50 and 100. And Christ took the bread and looked to God and said, the customary Jewish blessing over food, breaking it, and giving it to his disciples. And he kept on going until all were fed, and not just fed, but satisfied. The usual word used to describe their fullness is satisfied. But the Greek word used here means not just full, but they can't eat another bite. They were gorged. 
God will give us life, but only if we give him everything that we have. The young man had given Christ what he had, but the boy didn't keep anything back. Christ took everything that he had. And Christ will give us an abundance of life, both in this age and in the age to come. But we should never hide anything from him. Whoever of you does not renounce all that he has cannot be my disciple. Every loaf that we have must be put into his hands down to the last scrap. Secondly, the supernatural bread is put into the hands of his disciples, and all of the gifts of God are dispensed to his church. And Christ is the source of all those treasures. A churchless Christ is not a Christian concept. If we have life with Christ, we must come to his disciples, his apostles, and find it in his church. This is why Christ ordered the hundreds, the people, to be gathered into groups together, those who would know each other and be able to serve one another. If one wants to find organized religion here, it is so. Each time we gather for the divine liturgy, we return to the wilderness of Bethsaida and recline in one of those little groups. St. George Church is one of those groups. There is a sense that each liturgy is served in that wilderness, out in the world, away from what we are used to, in places together where we have to sort out problems. If every Christian baptism takes place in the Jordan and every Christian wedding takes place in Cana, then every Eucharist takes place in the wilderness of Bethsaida. There we find, and will continue to find, the supernatural bread that Christ places into our hands. Then we find the loaves and the fishes. There we find Christ who feeds us to the full, with him, we are sheep without a shepherd no more. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace, wisdom that guarded always by thy might, we may ascribe glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages.
the sick we represent the chairman with singular life injury the thrice holy hymn let us now lay aside all of the care that we receive the king of all who comes invisibly upborne by the angelic host alleluia 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 we must the represent the chair when we sing to the life king journey of the thrice holy hymn. Let us now lay aside all earthly care that we may receive the king of all who comes and miserably upborn by the angel of the coast. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We mystically represent the chair of women who sing to the life king journey of the thrice holy hymn. Let us now lay aside all earthly care that we may receive the king of all who comes and miserably upborn by the angelic coast. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father and Metropolitan Joseph and our Bishop John and all our brotherhood in Christ, the Lord God, remember them in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The President of the United States and all civil authorities and our armed forces everywhere, the Lord God remember them in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Orthodox servants of God, that they may have mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and the remission of their sins, the Lord God remember them in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Orthodox servants of God now departed this life and the hope of the resurrection to everlasting life. The Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom always, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Invisibly Let us complete our prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all the precious gifts now offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. 
calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassion of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy and good and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. Let us love one another that with one accord we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Trinity, one in essence and unseparable. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be. The doors, the doors in wisdom let us attend. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten. And of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence of the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again, according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. He shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, with the Father and the Son together, is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, and I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand arrive, let us stand with fear, let us attend, that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with thy spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. Singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. When he had come and had fulfilled all the dispensation for us in the night in which he was betrayed, or rather gave himself up for the life of the world, he took, his, took bread in his holy and pure and blameless hands. And when he had given thanks and blessed it and hallowed it and broken it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take heed, this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sin. Amen. And likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink ye all of this. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Amen. Having in remembrance, therefore, this saving commandment and all those things which have come to pass for us, the cross, the grave, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the session at the right hand, and the second and glorious advent. Thine own of thine own we offer unto thee in behalf of all and for all.
Again, we offer unto thee this reasonable and unbloody service, and beseech thee, and pray thee, and supplicate thee. Send down thy Holy Spirit upon us, and upon these gifts here spread forth. And make this bread the precious body of thy Christ, and that which is in this cup the precious blood of thy Christ, changing them by thy Holy Spirit. That to those who shall partake thereof, they may be unto cleansing of soul, unto remission of sins, unto communion of thy Holy Spirit, unto the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, unto boldness toward thee, and not unto judgment or unto condemnation. And again, we offer unto thee this reasonable service for all those who in faith have gone before us to their rest, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in the faith. Especially our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. It is truly right to call thee blessed, O Theotokos, the ever Among the first, be mindful, O Lord, of our Father, and Metropolitan Joseph, and our Bishop John, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. And grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with thy spirit. And vouchsafe, O Lord, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord.
through the grace and compassion and love toward mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Let us attend. The holy things are for the holy. Divided and distributed is the Lamb of God who was given. Divided yet not disunited, who was ever eaten, ever consumed, but sanctifies those who partake thereof. The fullness of the cup of the faithful of the Holy Spirit. Blessed is the fervor of thy saints, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. The fervor of faithful of the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ, to the glory of God, the Father, Amen. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that Thou art truly the Christ, Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. And I believe that this is truly Thy own immaculate body, and that this is truly Thy own precious blood. Wherefore I pray Thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, of knowledge and of ignorance, and make me worthy to partake without condemnation of thine immaculate mysteries, and permission of my sins, and unto life everlasting. Amen. Of thy mystical supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, neither will I give thee a kiss as the Jews. Like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Not into judgment, nor into condemnation, be my partaking of thy holy mysteries, O Lord, but unto the healing of soul and body. Blessed are they whom you have cho taken, chosen and taken, O Lord, to yourself, and their remembrance is from generation to generation. Blessed With the fear of God, with faith and love, draw ye near. Since you cometh in the name of the Lord, the Lord is God, and hath revealed himself unto us. And there remains. Unto mission of sins, unto life of the lasting life. On to remission of sins and on to life everlasting. On to remission of sins and on to life everlasting. Permission of sins, not the life, the lasting. O God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. We have seen the true light, we have received the heavenly spirit, we have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity. For he has saved us. Amen. 
Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, and thy glory above the earth. Blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that we may sing of thy glory. For thou hast permitted us to partake of thy holy, divine, immortal, and life-giving mysteries. Establish us in thy sanctification, that all the day we may meditate upon thy righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Attend, having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, and fearful mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, bless Lord, those who bless thee, and sanctify those who put their trust in thee. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them in recompense by thy divine power and forsake us not who hope on thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to all civil authorities, to our armed forces and to all thy people. For every good and perfect gift is from above and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights, and unto thee we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be thy name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be thy name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. The blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his grace and of his divine grace and love toward mankind always, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Father bless. May Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet, foreigner, and Baptist John, of the holy glorious and all laudable apostles of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy glorious and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of St. George, the patron of this holy temple, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Thank you all once again for being with us on this day for the celebration of the Divine Liturgy and uh, continue to watch uh, as long as is needed and uh, continue to come in ever greater numbers and have a holy and peaceful day.